Okay, next to the winners of the Microbit Gladiator competition. Now, after hearing all about it on News Round, a group of six pupils were crowned the winners, having designed their very own fitness gadget using a Microbit. Now, the students got a very special surprise from two of their favourite gladiators. Over to Ricky. <laughs> The stage is set for an assembly that the children at this school in Brighton will never forget. They're in for a huge surprise. Please welcome my friends Phantom and Dynamite! I never thought in my life I would ever have this opportunity. And <laughs> thanks to this brilliant school, I managed to do it. So a different kind of assembly to end the week. The children's winning design has been turned into a real life bit of kit. Let's take a closer look at how it works. So basically you're supposed to hit um, this thing. The pugil puncher designed by the pupils here works by measuring the force of a good old whack. So if you hit this, what happens? Basically, the micro bit watch that's there, it tells you how hard you hit it. Three. Which is perfect when practicing duels. And it's not a bad start. Dynamite, will you mind uh, giving us a go and hitting yeah. this Happily. to see? Do I get a countdown? Three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one. one. 39! 39! Okay. These guys are 10 years old. Why do you think it's important that kids get to take part in something like this? It's such a big part of our life now. Like technology is just taking over the world and it's used in all aspects, whether it's sport or your day-to-day -day life. Like we use it in sport all the time with our training. It's yeah. really helpful. And it just increases their scope of the things that they can um, attain and mm -hmm. go for in the future in terms of jobs. None of this would have been possible without the school caretaker and coding club creator, but keeping the gladiators under wraps proved even more tricky. There was a sort of nervy couple of minutes when the gladiators were arriving and some of the kids were arriving for school, so I had to sort of stop a few <laughs> at the street and just say, oh, we're just bringing something through the car park. It's you, it's you. Certainly at this school, the next generation are plugged into programming with the help of a pugil stick and, of course, TV's biggest stars. Yeah. 